it's my fa- I just is my playing and performing as a thing as a as a an act is my favorite thing to do in the world. I always really liked theatre and going to the theatre and I always liked visual evolution on stage. I wanted the show to have some form of a dynamic and have it feel as if it went from one time of day into another time of day and I wanted it to be like the daytime slash afternoon going outdoors, which is just clouds and into the sky and going down into the time in the evening when you're by yourself. The band would leave the stage and I'll play by myself in the middle and then the night section be like a party because they are out at a show. I wanted it to feel inclusive and familiar and I wanted it to just feel like something universal. And I've always done that same splitting into three sections but never have I been able to enhance that visually. So in November, I went out on tour in the UK and Ireland to play my album Pony that had just come out. We played in Birmingham, Manchester, Dublin, Glasgow, and then we finished in London, where I'm from, and we did three nights at Brixton Academy. It felt like a, a big accomplishment. It was an amazing way to start the tour and we loved playing the new songs for the first time. And then we had December off before going away to North America for two months. My guy, he probably tastes amazing. What's up, Rex? I'm Austin. I've been listening to your music for maybe two or three years now. He's coming to both shows. I love it. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. Good night. Sit down beside me. Don't call me daddy. Why? Good lord, that makes me feel weird. And then in, in what way? Because it's like it's just me being so unsure of myself and like probably staring at the guitar and like not knowing how to play it. 
It's just funny how things go from one thing to another. Maybe she's right. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm playing in stores now. This is so proud of yourself. So good. So good. Oh. <laughs> Jim plays the drums in the band, and Jim was uh, one of my best friends at school. Daryl plays the bass, I uh, was also friends with at school, and him and Jim, they've worked with me since the very first show. The first show ever was on October the 4th, 2015, and it's just amazing to have my friends here now and be here four years later. It was around 200 people. I was like 18. And at that point, I was just called Rex. There was no Orange County. I know, you have to sing this bit with me. It goes like this. You're gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. And then Joe, the guitarist, and he was very, very close with Jim and Daryl. He joined later on. He's incredibly talented. Michael plays the saxophone, also does a lot of keys now. He actually does the most. And Johnny plays the trumpet with him, so they are usually playing saxophone and trumpet together. Hands out here. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, I don't think, I no, no, you don't, you do that, don't you? Oh, I'm in love with you. It's that, and then you look at each other. We could do a tango. We, I know, I'm gonna do a tango, my hat's coming off. <laughs> I've been waiting here for about like seven hours, um, but it's gonna be well worth it because I love Rex and like his music means so much to me. At the in the beginning, I was booking shows by myself and you know she saw three of us and I used to just be nervous and not be able to, to like do anything apart from like try and eat something and not be able to eat something and now I just sleep feel relaxed I feel great I feel like we're the most prepared we've ever been and I'm as satisfied as I can be Time that up there feels like it's like warped. It's just way different to what time would normally feel like. And I think that happens in normal life anyway. When you like, it's like literally if you're having an amazing time with someone a day, and then suddenly the day's done. It's like time went. Time flies when you're having a great time. I need everybody who has a phone in their hand to put their phone down and put it in your pocket until the end of this song. Okay. I said that. You're gone.
When you're on tour and traveling a lot, it can be strange for your body sometimes, you know, eating weird food at weird times and using a lot of adrenaline each night. And there was one day where I woke up in Boston and I was so ill. I really didn't want to let anyone down at all, but there was no way I was fit to play a show that evening. And we had to cancel. And it was the first show I ever canceled. And luckily I was taken care of by those around me and I felt a lot better, better enough to play the show the following night. Well, well that's big. Mm -hmm. One of the best things about traveling is getting to explore the places we're in. I love to find something to go and see or do. It's just nice to have different experiences in each place and be able to make memories. gymnastics when I was a child for like I want to say like three years at least at least and was like could do like the splits but like that way like outwards I'm not joking I did that that was like my party trick was that I could do the splits like outwards and people were like people weren't people were impressed but they were also like con mildly concerned like is there something wrong with you and does that not hurt you and I was just like no no it doesn't hurt me I always wanted to show that I was the artist and like the showman behind the whole thing and could like do more than just stand at the piano and sing. That's me. Look at that sweet baby face. Look at, there's glitter on this. Can you see that? It, can you really see that? Yo. So do you meet the fans sometimes? And what is that like? It's always very amazing to meet people like that and it's quite amazing meeting people who travel far three hours, five hours, drove or flew here for the show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I remember my first concert, I remember everything about it. I'm just like them, I'm just like them and their friends and parents and everyone they know. I really want people to have memorable experiences of the show. And the venue, I think, plays a big part in that.
Getting to play at Radio City Music Hall felt like a dream come true. It's just one of the most amazing buildings to me and has so much history with who's played there. And we did two nights and I felt very honored that they let me on that stage. We all wore suits at the show because we were at Radio City. I ended up working out. We got it together a few days before and everybody looked sharp. They looked very handsome. It was the best thing I've ever done, and it was not just because of the size of the venue, it was, it was the venue itself and it was the performance. It felt like very much so crazy full circle, especially playing that particular Billy Joel song. Seeing my drummer and my bassist who have stayed with me since the very first performance I've ever done, and to have gone from there with 200 people to this, like 12,000 people in New York, it, just felt like a real achievement and I loved it. The tour is my proudest accomplishment. Like, I'm so glad it came together the way it did because it's exactly what I wanted to execute. So we finished the North American run at the end of February and I was at home for a week before going to Europe to continue the tour, which started in Stockholm. As we didn't have the full production on the tour in Europe, I thought it would be nice to wear the suits for these shows. That's all my ties at the moment. That's my tie collection nice. currently. It's a collection. Can I put this money? Yeah, of course. 
once upon myself, I still take my shoes off, ignore it till I feel alright. I might get restless if I stay for too long. I would have believed this fucking bullshit if it meant that I could see her. Don't see the shit that sounds a bit like me, huh? Hey, sorry, I didn't even see you there. <laughs> We're in Berlin. We only got here today. I, w I woke up and the first thing I heard about was the fact that no one in Europe could travel into the United States at all for a month. It's been a ban on travel. We had planned to open up these merch shops in some cities on the tour. And in Berlin, I went over to the shop to say hi to everyone there. Because the coronavirus situation was escalating, we made sure everyone had hand sanitizer on the way in and there was no hugging or any contact. Right after that, I leave and go back to the hotel my manager sits me down and says, it's not safe to continue with the tour. We decided it was for the best to cancel the Berlin show that was that night and all European dates and just get my band and crew home as quickly as possible. This is so much further beyond me than I ever imagined. So now I do think it's probably quite bad. So I think it's, what's worse is to bring people together and it's way more dangerous for the fans, most importantly. And anything that gets lost get, is gone, and that's okay. It's been really great. It's been my favorite tour that I've done. I'm so happy with everything. And it's so surreal to be here now, and I'm definitely not the same person. It's not the same anymore, it's better.